This bee is Bombus hortorum, which is the garden bumblebee, although she's not quite as common in gardens as some of the other, um, the, what we call the big six. And if you see, she's got a white tail, a little bit like the, the leucorum and the terrestrial. But she's quite easy to spot, quite easy to tell the difference for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm looking quite close here. This is, this is um, unusual because she's, she's actually got a damaged wing, so she's not able to fly, <coughs> which is why I'm able to catch her for a little while. So she's got the longest tongue, the longest proboscis of any of the garden bees. And she's the one, if you see bees flying from flower to flower with their tongue still hanging out, Let's see if I can get her better picture of the tongue, then it would be the Hortorum. Um, they're also one of the bees that's most likely to nest in an odd place like in an old Wellington boot or the pocket of an old coat or something like that. Uh, quite long compared to the other bees. Well, that's, that's just in my, that's my own observation. don't know if that's correct, but and definitely they have a longer face. Um, they don't have quite as large a colony as some of the other bees um, and they prefer flowers because they're huge long tongue um, I've actually put her on this, this is for Celia and I've put her on this because I found her damaged on the pavement uh, and she's fine, she likes it but they, their favourite plants are things like um, cat mint and sage and foxgloves because they've, they've, cause these huge long tongues they have they like the flowers of the long corollas so um, she's one of the, what are called the big six. The big six are um, this one, Bombus hortorum, and there's the white-tailed bee, Bombus leucorum, the buff-tail, which is Bombus terrestris, um, Pascuorum, the common carder bee, uh, Lapidarius, which is the red-tailed bee, and, Hor and Pratorum, which is the early nesting bee. Um, she's coming to the end of her life anyway. You can kind of tell that because of her raggy wings. I'm assuming she's a worker. I'm not that good at, at um, telling the difference between all the different uh, variations and males and females, but I'm pretty sure she's a worker. So, um, there you go, Bombus hortorum. So hopefully if you see one of these in your garden, you'll recognise it. Oh, the other thing that I've noticed is that the, the white bit at the bottom, the white bit of the tail at the bottom, is, seems to be longer and more pointy, and, and you, you can kind of see it more in lines of black and white, which you don't get really with the other two bees that have got really white tails. And this plant, Facelia, which is coming the end of its life as well uh, is a fantastic one for bumblebees it's brilliant it's a green manure but it's also not just bum bumblebees but it's it's fantastic for attracting all kinds of beneficial insects to your garden um, there we go